Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Arkfeld Pro, which is the third model in our Olight's Arkfeld series. Uh, this bad boy started with um, just, the just the flashlight and the laser. Then they went flashlight and UV with the Arkfeld UV, which I've done a review of. I'll link somewhere in the bottom or at the end. Um, and then they put them all together for this Arkfeld Pro, which understandably is a little bit bigger, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. Um... <clears throat> So it's nice they've they've come all full circle, and the the price change uh, it's only twenty dollars more than the Arkfeld UV coming at ninety nine ninety nine retail. So it's not that bad, and it's kind of like reminds me of a uh, popcorn at the movie theater. Um, so you know you spend five bucks for a bag of popcorn, and uh, that's the medium size, and then you could get double for a dollar more in the extra large. And you know by the time you're there, you're like, yeah, let's let's just get the extra large popcorn. Why not? Um, so. Uh, the ninety nine ninety nine price tag is again retail. There'll be a link in the description below that will be an affiliate link to both Amazon Prime and directly to the Olight store. I have a ten percent off coupon code of IDC ten at the Olight store, so I'd recommend using that because it will give the channel a little kickback. And they're pretty quick on shipping. They're actually doing a listing for as I'm recording this a soft pink i three T two. Be sure to check that out. Mine have already shipped and are on their way. Um, this uh, price point's also in line with some of the other ones, uh, and if you compare it to the price of a Surefire Stiletto, it, it actually looks kind of like a steal. So again, please use the 10% off coupon. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, beyond the price difference, the technical specs aren't too far off. Um, you will get some higher brightness with the Stiletto series, but we'll, we'll get into all that later. Uh, let's start with what's in the box, and here we're getting nothing out of the ordinary. You get the flashlight, an MCC-1A charger, and the owner's manual, so what you'd kind of come to expect. Um, currently, the Pro model does come in a few different colorways. This is the the Black Series, which comes in a neutral white and a cool white emitter. Uh, all the other ones only come as a cool white, but you can get an OD green and or uh, the orange. I'm a big fan of look of the orange one, and if they had that neutral white, I probably would have went with that one. Uh, that being said, Olight did send me this, so I will be uh, thanking them thoroughly, uh, but there was no money exchange, so this was going to be a completely honest review, but I do want to thank them again because they've been very helpful in uh, helping me be able to review some flashlights that I might not have been able to otherwise. Um, just like most of the other flashlights you'll see from Olight, this does feature a two-way pocket clip that does make it rather easy to become a headlamp, and its weight is uh, not sub too substantial where you would notice it too badly. Um, I'd also say that the weight of the flashlight's uh, nice. I believe it's 110 grams-ish, 111 grams. Um, the neodymium magnet on the bottom that works not only for the charger, it could also allow it to uh, hold itself up in case you want to like put it against a wall at a 90 degree angle. Gravity ain't going to beat the battery, or gravity ain't going to beat the magnet on the back. Um, the other nice thing that I really like about the Pro Series is, at least with the black one, it's got much more of a matte finish compared to the Arkfeld UV that I have. So uh, it's, it's uh, I don't know, I, I like the matte that much better than I do that semi-gloss finish. Um, I also did get the T7 screwdriver in the mail, and it does not fit in the Arkfeld UV pocket clips. But when I got this in the mail, I tested in a T8 screwdriver head does fit in here, the Torx T8 bit. And I reached out to CS, and they did confirm that this clip is serviceable and replaceable. So if you end up buying a bunch of these and you want to swap clips out, you absolutely can. And who knows, they might end up starting to sell them on the website. So that'd be pretty cool, because I'd love to put a black clip on this and just see what that looks like all blacked out. Um, the Arkfeld Pro itself is roughly 10% bigger than the Arkfeld UV overall, but there's some good reasons beyond for that beyond just the, the laser emitter that it added. So let's let's get into that. <clears throat> so it does come, the Arkfeld UV is just over a thousand milliamp battery at 1050. This does come with a 1500 milliamp battery, which is roughly about half again as much. Uh, but my first con on the flashlight is the fact that that battery is not swappable. Uh, I'm a big fan of charging up some extra batteries and having them in my pack and being able to swap them in. I've talked about that before. I just talked about that with the Wubin X3. So this is another flashlight where I'd highly recommend having a secondary light on you that does have a uh, highly swappable battery, something that's like a AAA, AA, something you could find anywhere and everywhere at any gas station. Um This seems to be commonplace with all the wedge flashlights, though, so I'm not going to necessarily say this puts it at a disadvantage compared to another one. They all just seem to be that way. 
Um, I have reached out to Streamlight and Nikkor to see if I can't get my hands on the EDC 27 or a Stiletto or anything just to see if I can't compare them all. Uh, I've yet to get a reply from them. So again, thank you, Olight, and any other brands that have been kind enough to work with me. Um, hopefully, Streamlight and Nikkor will see this and be willing to shoot me something. Come on, if anybody knows anybody there, shoot them a message. Anyway, uh, but hopefully I can get those models because I'd love to compare them to one another. I'm pretty sure the Stiletto comes in at like 3,000 lumens, so I'd love to show the brightness difference, all that good stuff. But um, I will say, uh, uh, again, there is affiliate links in the bottom for purchasing this flashlight if you'd like to, and you will end up getting it a little bit cheaper than the others. And not only will it be a little bit cheaper, but it comes with the UV emitter and a laser as well. Speaking of all that, let's just get into some technical details. The light itself is 1300 lumen output on turbo um, for max candela of just over 2600 at 2608. That beam distance is going to be 102 meters. Um, with a 1500 milliamp internal battery, you could run it on moonlight one lumen for 11 days. It's an IPX7 water rating. The flashlight itself weighs 111 grams. And it's about 120 meters, millimeters long, uh, 16 millimeters tall, and 27 millimeters wide. Um, so as someone who has owned and does own the Arkfeld UV, I would absolutely recommend getting this as an upgrade. I'd probably end up reselling the UV on the gray market if I didn't want to use it for other comparison videos later. Um, but if you haven't bought one of these and you are looking to get a wedge-style flashlight, I can't recommend the Arkfeld Pro highly, or excuse me, Arkfeld Pro highly enough because it is a nice all-in-one. It gives you a UV emitter, it gives you a regular emitter, and it gives you a laser emitter, all of which are relatively high power. So it's not like any of them are super crippled. I'd compare it to like a good two-in-one uh, shampoo and conditioner in the shower. It's not going to be as bright as some other flashlights in the same market, whether it's a dedicated UV or just a normal primary emitter. But at the same time, it has all of the capabilities to do all of those jobs that it has set forth in front of it. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and carry on.